Hey everyone, Merrick here. We're back in the wonderful, crazy world of Stanley Parable. In the last episode, my mind exploded with an existential meltdown and a bit of a crisis because I went downstairs and then I died. And if you want to know what happens, watch that episode. It's crazy. Okay, here we go. We're back. these co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this yeah, Stanley's office? Yeah. 427. Word, bro. Buddy? Buddy guy, you there? Buddy guy. Hey, buddy. Um, I think my narrator went away. Okay, so I'm the narrator now, and then everybody made money and lived happily ever after, and all the weirdy weirdness wasn't as weird anymore because it was just normal. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. The right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. It did. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And here the we lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps too majestic. Like a combination of a much smaller version and a much larger version of this exact room. It all made Stanley uncomfortable, and he started to bleed a little. This made him smile. At last, <laughs> proof that he was human. <laughs> I'm bleeding! My anus is yes, bleeding! really, really. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. What do you guys think? Do you think I should see if something's changed if I go that way? You know what? We're going. We're going. And so he detoured through the maintenance straight. section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Then we're going this way. Uh, I guess that's what would happen if I didn't take the other door. Um. Yet there was not a single person here. Under. Talk less. Do unbelievably the amazing work. All the time, Stanley every day, decided no to exception. go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might find an answer there. Alright. Broom closet. My old friend. We're going back downstairs. This time we're not going to stop. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yep. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out hell? of existence in a single moment for no reason looped? at all. I looped. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Ah. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be yeah, it real. No, it's but not. At last, he came Cup to here. the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Okay, we're going to... Begin the game again, because I know where this is going, because we did this in the last video. So, here we go. Beginning again, because the end is never the end. How Yay. wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. Ooh. This is great, he Yay. thought to himself. This is what I've wanted Woo. all along. It I is. I got what I wanted. Lonely loner walking down a lonely road. Lonely doing things while they're lonely. Hey... I thought that said a dirty word. Hey, what's that? Alright. I hate Mondays. Somebody got a case of the Mondays! <laughs> Alright. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I did. 
I'm actually going to go up to the boss's office this time. We're going to talk to this man about the crazy office building problems. Yet there was not a single person here either. Yay. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might come into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Boss. Boss. It's a very nice office. Executive bathroom. That wasn't there before. Let me in there. I want to go in. I need to poop. Let me in or I'm going to poop on this chair. Okay, fine. That's what you get. Pooped right on that chair. Okay. There's the input computer. It's up to three now. I wonder where the next one's going to be and what happens when I get all the way to the inputs of inputs. Stepping into his manager's office, Whoa. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What the Shocked, fuck? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Boom! Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. What's going on in this game? It's so crazy! I kinda wish the piano worked. What the fuck? Well, at least they put this grate here so I don't fall down. There's nothing back here. Oh, but I went down on the last one and it didn't go well. Oh, that was sparks. Oh, what is going on? What is going on? Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? when for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. I want answers! Well, I think my elevator just shorted out and died. Eh. Stanley yeah. walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Why would I do that? I'm going to escape. Freedom! passageway had the word escape written on it the truth was that at the end of this hall Stanley would meet his violent death nah I don't believe it freedom the door behind him was not shut Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track freedom at this point Stanley was making a conscious concerted effort to walk forward and yes. willingly confront his death yes um <laughs> Okay. Here we go. I didn't die. I got a loading screen. What? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. I don't. There, Paul Stanley. I don't accept. Ah. 
What? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Eh. Ah! <laughs> okay. Um... And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? What the fuck is going on now? Who's this lady? She's the narrator too. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making mm -hmm. life the same. Do you see now? Do. do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? I don't... I don't want to be dead. Office layout. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path to Stanley's office, two doors as first part of the game, was built in sections have been added altered throughout the development process. Oh, cool. Nature paintings. This game is amazing. The pacing of this corridor was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Filing cabinets. I love self-aware games. Instead of two doors open, the very first concrete piece of Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction in this room posed. But that's not all the office computers. That is only some of them. The boss's office. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Office clock. Freedom ending. I haven't seen that one yet. Um, there's a lot going on. I have not seen hardly any of this, so clearly there's a lot of game left to play. The fourth version of the ending. We thought it was complete, but decided to abandon and change it again shortly before the launch. The game is now paused. The escape menu. For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized this was what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. <laughs> I haven't seen any of these levers. What? Oh, it's the apartment timer. In previous versions, the choice leading to the apartment ending and a timer would give you 50 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. Oh. Wow. The office. The lounge. So is this like... Is this like just a museum of all the choices even though I haven't seen them all? This is weird. Game design mock-up. This level that William, the level designer, sent Davy, the writer, as a kind of audition piece. The strength of the level got William hired to design a full game, though much of the environment has changed the basic layout for mock-up still the same. Huh. Alright. Where was that room with the room in the room? Now yeah, that's descriptive, Merrick. The room that had the Stanley Parable room. Oh. We ran four major teaser trailers over the course of the game's development, each meant to convey something in the spirit of the game. This the first one, released 2012, featured series of broken rooms and the voice of the narrator informing the viewers that he is preparing a new version of the Stanley Parable. All right. 
this is crazy. I'm still very much like in awe of this game. Just it's quite an experience, not something I expected. Huh. Warzone? I haven't even seen this. In early development we designed an ending where Stanley would end up in a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose to the tone of the game. Plus some people interpret it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. That is funny. I, <laughs> I like that. Alright, is that the input computer? No, that's the copier. The office. Maintenance room. An early version of the maintenance room. And here are the minds behind this game. You guys have made some amazing stuff. Good job. Keep it up. Can't wait to play it. Um... There's a room that we're missing though. We haven't gone into one of these rooms. Because it looks like something a bit final. Oh, there's just so much here. There's so little that I've seen. Narration outtakes. Uh, Kevin being the voice, uh, Kevin writing the voice of the narrator recorded dialogue for an entire game roughly three separate times for over two years of development. These are clips from early takes that we're not using the final game. Can't really hear him. Huh. It's weird that there's a game in, a museum of the, about the game in the game itself. It's also weird that I'm spending so much time here, but man, there's so much cool stuff to see. And I really want to see that room I caught a glimpse of earlier that had the Stanley pair. There it is. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Do I flip it? I'm going to flip it. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. You push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... I let time choose for me. <laughs> something gonna happen? Did I do bad? Did I do good? I don't know what's going on. Okay, I think I have to hit escape and begin from the beginning. Begin the game again. Okay, well that was different. I wonder if I didn't wait long enough. I'm gonna try to get back down there real quick, wait, so I'll be back. Stanley thought to himself. Oh, hold Am on. I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. No, no, the orders were still missing. For now. Okay, so that was different. We didn't miss it. Oh, there it is. I can't reach it. It's not taking input. Um, input, computer, input. Okay. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Alright. 
So we got that. Now let's see if we can't get back there real quick. Um, I have no idea what that input computer is going to do when we fill it up, but I can't wait to fill it up. When two Stanley doors. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yep. And through here to the Yet office there place. There was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley through. decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might be coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. To my boss's office! Hey boss! Can I go in your bathroom? Holy shit, I can go in the bathroom now! To be rich? Is it a crime? To commit crimes? Isn't it rich? What a life would be to have to pick just one. Holy shit! This is awesome. Alright, so I get to see the bathroom now. Clicking on that does nothing. Other buttons do nothing. Okay. Oh, shut the door on myself. Wow. Okay, so we're committed. What's in here? This is messy. You guys should. Oh, there's a killing panda. You guys should really clean that up. There's a. The elevator worked. Ah. Uh, but I want to see what happens when you go into the mind control room. So many choices! Uh, we're gonna go mind control. Stepping into his manager's office. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling Yee. books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to Yee. his situation. But his clues. attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. Keypad. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Two but of course, eight, Stanley four. couldn't possibly have known this. 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code Yay. by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped Aren't into I? the newly opened passageway. Yee. Into the, de the, the elevator. Into the elevator. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's a an elevator. It goes down, and it's an elevator. All right. Mm -hmm. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I did. What is in here? It's a big button. I'm not gonna push your big button. I guess I'm gonna push the big button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What Ooh. horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Oh, this is that room! Oh! I do have the strength to find out. Let's see, input computer? Input computer. Input computer. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Whoa. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Switch to pirate so I can find out which one's the pirate. Oh, it didn't change. It just made the noise like it was changing. There's the one that says pirate. Switch again so I can see who the pirate is. I can't tell what it says what's on there, but it's a pirate, as in Pirate Pete. 
up button. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I feel like it. No. No? He refused to believe I refuse. It. He couldn't accept it. I His own accept life not. in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. The I felt utterly proof. blind. The heart of the operation. Mm -hmm. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Whoa. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. That's for right. he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Or he is a jolly good fellow. Or he is a jolly good fellow. Huh. Look at all this stuff. Can I get through this door? Buttons, buttons. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. What do I feel? I feel like Disney watched this and took that idea and made it real. Facility power. Mind control status offline. Mind control idle awaiting input. Ooh, wait. There were other numbered buttons, weren't there? Um, that's three. That's... Where's four? What's that? I didn't see that one. Console disabled. Oh. There's one and two, so hold on. One. Two. Um three four is up there. No idea what I'm doing. Zero one four zero 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 Don't know what those numbers mean either, but I'm gonna push all these buttons in order because I'm a good little trained monkey. Arr. Ooh, what's that red one? I'm not gonna touch it yet. Five. Did I do good? It did nothing. That button does nothing. Okay, so these buttons don't let me do anything. Guess I have to go into that room. Huh. Okay. What's going on in here? Mind control awaiting input! And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After I they did. kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yep. Control? Yes. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you no. want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's Yay. your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. 
Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. My what a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. You kind of skip there, buddy. moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time mm -hmm. to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. I don't know where to start either. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? Mm-hmm. A moment where are of they? solace before you're obliterated. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what that happened. That did nothing. I erased them. Why? I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit oh. there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. It's telling me what buttons Other to times, push. I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. I pushed the red goodness, button. Only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this uh... so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. But what oh if it did grow me, on what's trees? What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I did I assume mean, that. You. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. It will. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. Am but I? here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching Purple a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the Goodbye, clock, Stanley. Goodbye, employee 427. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another How do I choice. enable backup power? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Oh, shit. I guess I didn't succeed. None of the buttons said anything. They don't know what that meant. I didn't mean to click it because we need to wrap up. Welcome, Stanley, to heaven. What? Wee Puketastic. I can push all the buttons. Oh. I broke it already. I broke heaven. So, um, <laughs> this is something. I'm pushing the buttons. Can we do something else?
Some of these are getting unpushed. No. I'm pushing the button. Stop unpushing them. No. Does it stay like this? That's one hell of an ending. Alright, so I think this is the end, so we're going to actually wrap the episode up here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far, and this series so far. We're definitely going to find out what else goes on in this game. Um, so I will see you guys in the next episode. If you have any comments, suggestions, feedback, anything like that, throw that in the comment section below. If you're going to post anything about the story, mark it with spoiler tags so nobody gets spoiled, and... Yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, click the subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when I get fresh content out. That is, if you haven't subscribed. All that being said, I'll see you awesome people next time. Hard for that. I don't and in be. such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously.